everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Rachel. I am the founder of one of the UK's fastest scaling accountancy practices where we work with clients to feel better about their finances. And accounting software is one of the top ways that we help them to do that. And so in today's video, I'm gonna walk and talk you through how to complete a bank reconciliation in zero. Lowering the barriers to entry to financial education and delivering this content in a friendly but jargon-free way is exactly what I do. So I'm really excited to get stuck into the zero bank reconciliation with you today to get you feeling better about your finances. Let's go. So when we log into Xero, it is the dashboard that we see first. Now, don't forget, if you want to learn how to customize and curate your dashboard so that you're seeing exactly the information that you'd like to see when you log in, you can check out this video, which teaches you how to do exactly that. But when we land and we log into Xero, this is the dashboard that we're going to see. When we think about doing our bookkeeping, when we log into Xero, this list here, so reconcile 29 items, this list is basically our to-do list. So Xero works by using open banking to connect our banking data into the software. When we run reports from Xero, so we can see the data that we've got here and the data that we've got here, Xero only knows the data that we tell it. And so in order to be able to see the data from our bank account, move into the Xero software and to be able to report on it, we actually need to tell Xero the who, what, where, when, and how. We need to tell Xero what those transactions are and what they mean. And so this is our to-do list. And it's really important to note that all of the information that you see over here does not include any of the transactions that have not been reconciled over here, which is why top left, that is always gonna be your to-do list. This is the first thing that we want to look at when we log into Xero. Okay, so once we've clicked reconcile, we're now gonna see our Xero screen get split into two halves. On the left hand side, we have got the data that is coming in from our bank account that shows us the date, the description, a reference and the amount and whether that was spent or received. So the left hand side is showing us the data that is coming from our bank account. And on the right hand side, that is where we're going to tell Xero what to do with that information. Because Xero is an incredible piece of software, you can see that actually some of the items have automatically been filled in. That's because Xero uses AI to learn and remember pieces of information that we tell it. And it also uses AI to automatically reconcile things that it thinks intuitively should be connected together. So if we go through transaction by transaction, I can show you some different examples of how Xero will use AI to learn and remember. If we take the first transaction, so this transaction, nothing has come up as suggested. And so we need to tell Xero what that was. And so we spent some money at FastPay, which sounds like a payment processing platform on the 22nd of January, and this was the reference number. And so because nothing has automatically come up as suggested, that means that we haven't put a bill on Xero. That money has just come out of our bank account. And so we need to tell Xero who that was for. And so I'm gonna say that was for Martin and Martin Solicitors. I actually don't have that set up as a contact and so I'm going to click new contact. That is for solicitors fees so I'm going to put legal expenses and then the Y is HR and legal advice. I'm going to leave the region as blank but this is a good example where you can see zero using tracking categories but I'm not going to use them in this example and I'm going to ignore VAT for the purpose of this demo. So we can see that when Xero doesn't know the transaction that we're talking about, we need to answer three questions in order to be able to reconcile. We need to answer who, what, and why. So the who, Martin and Martin solicitors. The what, it was legal expenses. And the why was HR and legal advice. So the three questions that we want to answer for every single transaction, and sometimes this will be auto-populated and sometimes it won't, just depending on how Xero is learning and remembering, is who, what, and why. And so you can see that now we've answered those three questions, the who, the what, and the why, I'm now being given the option to reconcile it. And so I can click OK, and we're gonna watch this number go from 29 to 28. I'm a huge fan of gamifying bookkeeping wherever possible. So I actually always keep a really close eye on this number and I set myself little challenges, normally involving a packet of biscuits. So I say like for every 20 transactions I reconcile, 
I'm allowed a digestive biscuit. And so now we have reconciled that transaction, we can now see that we've got some green ones coming up. And so that's where we have received on the 2nd of March, money coming in from Ridgeway University, and we've received this amount. Now zero is saying, oh, hang on a minute, on the 2nd of March, you received that money, but four days earlier, on the 28th of February, you actually raised a sales invoice with the same reference number. Would you like me to allocate this with this? And if you know that that was a client paying for that invoice, we click OK. And again, we're going to watch that number change. It's gone now gone down to 27. Very similar situation here. So on the same day that we raised uh, a bill for this much money, we also paid this much money. We can see that the payment went out to Truxton Property and that the bill was for Truxton Property. So very confident that this is the right thing. So we click OK. So I've shown you one example where Zero doesn't know anything because we haven't told it anything. And then two examples where Zero is able to learn and remember. And so now I'm just going to show you the third type of transaction that we might be able to see, which looks a little bit like this. And so this is where we haven't got a bill or an invoice on the system because they go green. That's where we've got one side and another side and Zero is trying to add them together. But this is an example of where Zero has seen this before. So just like how I answered the who, the what and the why for that first transaction, Zero is saying, hey, this time last month, you spent £15 with Ridgeway Banking. And when this happened last month, you told me that this was going to Ridgeway Bank for bank fees with the why as a bank fee. Would you like to do that again? And I can say yes. It could be that that's not the case and I might choose to overwrite it, but bank fees is a really good example of something that happens every single month. It will happen around the same time every month and it will be for roughly the same amount every single month. And so we can also click OK. And so the aim of the game now is to get this number down to zero. And so I'm just going to fly through. I'm going to be answering the who, the what and the why for every single transaction. And that is how to complete a bank reconciliation in Xero. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today looking at how to complete a bank reconciliation in Xero. Please let me know in the comments section how you got on, how many digestive biscuits you had to eat to get through your bank reconciliation, and how you found this tutorial. I use the comments in the descriptions to my videos to curate what content and what tutorials I bring to you next. So I'd absolutely love to hear from you to find out what content you would like to see on my channel next. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to get a notification every single time I release a juicy video like this one.